a pleasant day, Tagong City, especially to our dear learners and parents who are tuning in right now. I am your teacher host, Sir Philip John A. Castromayor. It's another day of meaningful learning, and welcome once again to Satlida Teleradio, where you will learn lessons that will be helpful to you. Today, you will learn about Performing Basic Calculation, a lesson from Grade 7, Horticulture. Please help me welcome our teacher broadcaster, Mom Ivy Maris L. Patenio. Thank you, Sir Philip. Good day, listeners and viewers. Welcome to Salida Teleradio. As we advocate time consciousness and honesty, please observe honesty and timeliness in answering the different tasks. Today, we will be learning about performing basic calculation. This is part of Module 3 of our lesson in Grade 7 TLE, particularly in horticulture. Here are our objectives for today's lessons. Objective number one, differentiate surface area from volume. Objective number two, perform basic farm calculations. And objective number three, recognize the importance of performing farm calculation. Now before we begin with our discussion, let's try to get or test your knowledge on today's topic. Have you ever tried calculating or solving for the area of a field? Or have you ever tried solving for a volume of a body or an object? Now please prepare your pen and paper. You'll be given 5 seconds to answer each question. Correct answers will be revealed at the later portion of our discussion. Now let's try to identify each of these formulas. For our first formula, we have A is equal to length times width. So again, A is equal to length times width. You have 5 seconds to identify what this formula is for. Okay, your 5 seconds is up. Now let's proceed to the next formula. We have A is equal to 0.5 times base times height. So again, that's A is equal to 0.5 times base times height. Okay, your 5 seconds is up. And lastly, we have V is equal to length times width times height. Okay, now basic calculation is needed in accomplishing different farm activities. For example, if we are going to solve for the surface area of a field, we'll have to use basic calculation. Another example is when we try to solve for the volume of water on a field, we'll also have to use basic calculation. Now, this information can be used in calculating for the quantities or resources needed in completing a particular farm task. Now, what's the difference in surface area and so volume? So, surface area is a two-dimensional measure. Kung maingon tag two-dimensional measure, these are examples. So, as you can see here, these figures are all in flat or plane figure. Now, if we are talking about volume, volume is a three-dimensional measure. So, kung si surface area na two dimensions, si volume na siya three dimensions. So, the third dimension of volume is what we call as width or um, its width or what we call as the depth. So that is the third dimension of the surface area. Now, here in our picture, we have some examples of figures where a volume can be calculated from. Now let's proceed to common surface area. 
So our first example of surface area, we have the area of a triangle. Now in calculating for the area of a triangle, we'll have to use the formula which is 0 0.5 times base times height. Or you can simply write 0 0.5 times B times H. Now let's um, try to solve a problem. But before that, in calculating for the area of a triangle, even though we have different shapes of triangle, we are still going to use the same formula. So for our example, solve for the area of a triangle with the following data. Base is equal to 4 cm and height is equal to 3 cm. So all you have to do is to use the formula. So you'll have A is equal to 0.5 times 4 cm times 3 cm. So that is equal to 6 square centimeter. So in solving for the area, you'll always have to use the expression square centimeter for your answers to be correct. Now let's try to solve for the area of a square or a rectangle. So we are going to use the same formula in doing such. So the formula is length times width. So that's L times W. So the reason why, um, although these are different shapes, the reason why we'll have to use this, the same formula because both square and rectangle have four angles or four right angles. So that is why we are going to use the same formula. So let's try to solve a problem. So we have length is equal to six centimeter and width is equal to six centimeter as well. So again, we are going to use the formula length times width. So six centimeter times six centimeter, then we'll get 36 squared centimeter. Okay, now let's try to check for the formula in getting the volume. Now volume is equal to length times width times height. So a lot ago, we were only using two dimensions, but now again, since we are going to solve for the volume, then we'll have to use the third dimension, which is again the width or the depth. So you can simply write L times W times H. So this is an example of a figure where you can be able to calculate for the volume. So a volume is the content of a body or object. So let's take into example um, water inside this figure, inside this box. So let's try to solve a problem in finding the volume. So we are given 20, 25 centimeter as the length and 15 centimeter as the width and we have 10 centimeter as the height. So if you multiply all of these um, information, you'll end up having 3,750 cubic centimeter. So a while ago, we answered um, each of the problems for solving the surface area by indicating square centimeter. But now, since we are solving for the volume, then we'll have to use the expression cubic centimeter for your answers to be correct. Okay, now, what is the importance of basic calculation in farming? Basic calculation in farming is very important in completing different tasks. Using the four basic mathematical expressions like multiplication, addition, subtraction, and division. Through this, the correct method of calculation can be determined. Now, let's review your answers from the pre-test. Pre so a while ago, I showed you some formulas. So the first formula that I've shown you was A is equal to length times width. 
So again, A is equal to the length times width is used to solve for the area of a rectangle. Now for the second formula, A is equal to 0 0.5 times base times height. Now this formula is used for solving the area of a triangle. And finally, V is equal to length times width times height is used for solving the volume. Now let's evaluate. Now kindly answer the following problems by determining first the formula to be used in each problems or in each item. So again, you'll be given five seconds to answer each item. So for our first problem, calculate the area of the triangle. Again, for our first item, calculate the area of a triangle with the following information. Base is equal to 3 centimeters and height is equal to 2 centimeters. You have 5 seconds to answer this problem. Okay, your 5 seconds is up. Let's check your answer. So the formula that we are going to use is going to be A is equal to 0 0.5 times base times height. So that's 0 0.5 times 3 centimeter times 2, which will lead to 3 square centimeter. So our correct answer for item number 1 is 3 square centimeters. For item number 2, calculate the surface area of a rectangle. Again, for item number 2, calculate the surface area of the rectangle with the following information. Length is equal to 5 cm, while width is equal to 3 cm. Again, that's length 5 cm, width 3 cm. Your five minutes starts now. Okay, let's check your answer. So again, the formula that we are going to use is A is equal to length times width in finding the area of the rectangle. So we have five centimeter times three centimeter, which will lead to 15 square centimeter. So again, the correct answer for item number two is 15 square centimeters. So let's now proceed to our third problem. Calculate the surface area of the square. With two centimeters is the length and two centimeters as the width. Timer starts now. Okay, your time is up. Let's check your answer for, for item number three. So again, the formula that we are going to use in solving for the surface area of the square is length times width. So we were given two centimeter as the width and the length. So we'll just have to mul multiply um, the given and then we'll end up having four square centimeters. So for our last problem, calculate the volume of a box with the following information. Length is equal to 4 cm, width is equal to 3 cm, and height is equal to 2 cm. Your time starts now. Okay, let's now check your answer. So for solving the volume again, please remember to use the formula length times width times height. So you simply have to multiply 
all of the given information, which is again 4 cm times 3 cm times 2 cm. So again, remember to use the expression cubic centimeter for your answer to be correct. So that's 24 cubic centimeter. I sure hope that you did great in today's activities. Now let's proceed to our assignment. Using the formula that you have learned today, find the area of your house garden. Again, for your assignment, using the formula that you have learned today, find the area of your house garden. Thank you for listening. I hope that you have learned a lot from today's lesson. Again, I am your teacher broadcaster, Ivy Maris El Capeno, leaving you with a quote from Gordon B. Hinckley. Without hard work, nothing grows but weeds. That was great! Thank you, Mom Ivy. Thank you, viewers and listeners, for tuning in. We hope you learned something today. Bye for now!